All right, exercise number 28 in the There Are My Favorite series is called the high pull. This is an exercise for your arms and shoulders, but the reason why I love this is because it's multi-purpose and scalable. And this is a exercise you would actually swap out if you are currently doing the upright rows. Okay, so let's explain what the exercise is and then why it's scalable. So the first way I'm going to show you is the multi-purpose way, which is a lighter weight. So you could go even lighter than the 12 pound dumbbells that I'm going to use, but the lighter weight will allow you to make this into a twofer. Okay, so I'll show you what I mean, but that exercise will start with your nice if posture, your glutes are on, your abs are engaged, shoulders down and back slightly. Now your shoulders stay down, watch the position of my hands in relation to my elbows. Okay, so it's going to come up into this externally rotated high position, in which case we're able to get this face pull or band pull apart sort of action at the top. Okay, so you'll feel a nice contraction in between your shoulder blades at the top while you're still getting this great um, arm and shoulder work. It's also you know important that you're trying to keep even with the weights. Okay, so and that is your bonus multi-purpose way if you're using lighter weights. The reason why this external rotation high pull sort of an action is so great is that we're all in forward posture. So even if we don't have a rounded forward rounded shoulder situation to correct, we all need to be doing our counter action moves for our forward posture that is our default so if you're not spending additional time or extra time doing the exercises to counteract the forward posture this is a great one to throw in so that you get both done at the same time now if you're using this to strengthen and to build as the main goal and you use much much higher weights you're not going to be able to come up to this high position here, but you're still going to get that external rotation of having your hands, your thumb higher than your elbow, and you'll end up coming to a natural, you know, dead stop because of the sheer weight that you're using. Still the same benefits for your arms and shoulders. Um, the other reason why I love this is that you can easily turn this into a compound or a combination move because the action of the arms are fairly stable. I mean, just like if you were doing, say, like a, you know, a, a, another easy dumbbell exercise, like a bicep curl, you could always throw in your leg movement as well to make it even more efficient. So whether you come down first into a uh, deadlift or a Romanian deadlift, or you first do uh, a sumo squat, I can't go that far. Um, this is a great one that you can kick up the intensity on, you know, choose your, uh, your intention, right? Whether you want to go more strength focused or cardio focused or even it out. Okay. Now, if you don't have uh, dumbbells to use, or you want to try a slightly different feel for it, you could use any sort of a long band that you have. The ones with the handles for something like this is great, right? But this one will work too, where you're just standing uh, in the middle. And the main thing is that you're creating that same sort of um, elbows higher. So depending again, also on the tension of the bands, whether you're coming up more into a strength base where you're able to go higher, okay, and open up even more for that mobility uh, bonus either way. Okay, so for all of these reasons, but go ahead and make this swap with your regular upright row because the difference here you'll see is that with the upright row, we're having the elbow either in line, okay, as that weight comes up, people have either their elbow in line or even above, okay, their wrist. And over time, for the majority of the population, that's going to cost 
shoulder issues. So why not make the swap because you're getting all of the additional benefits plus more without the possible detrimental effects. All right, so work this in some way, somehow into, a, into your workouts and uh, have fun with it.